I remember looking back when I was a small girl. I loved to eat peanut butter. One day, I told my mother, I want a peanut butter sandwich. My mother said, no, it's too close to dinner. No, no. I said, please. She said, no. I said, please, I want a peanut butter sandwich, please. My mother said, no, and her face looked angry. I said, okay. My mother had a visitor in the other room, and as she was going there and I was going out, stopped, changed my mind, went back into the kitchen, opened the cupboard, took out a gigantic jar of peanut butter, unscrewed it, and took out a huge lump of peanut butter. Then I put the jar back, but as I was going out, I saw my mother coming in, and I was frightened. You know why? Because she said no. So I put the whole thing in my mouth, walked out, and as she passed by, I swallowed it. But I got stuck. I choked. I couldn't breathe. I walked along the side of the house, holding my throat. I felt everything glaze over. My head was bobbing forward. My friend, who was talking with my mother, noticed my head nodding forward. She looked out and said to my mother, you better check on your daughter. Maybe there's something wrong. So my mother said, OK. She opened the door and saw me there with my mouth open. She was scared. She thought something was there, but she didn't know what it was. She went down the steps, took my legs, and threw me upside down. The ground kept coming closer to my face as she threw me up and down. People were passing by, stopped and stared. Cars stopped, wondering what my mother was doing, throwing me up and down. Finally, the lump of peanut butter came out. She put me aright and looked down, surprised to see the lump of peanut butter. She thought maybe it were buttons or money that got there and choked. I choked on it, but it wasn't. It was that lump of peanut butter. Oh, my throat hurt. Well, she said, Oh, I've learned my lesson. No more will I take a huge mound of peanut butter, only a little bit at a time.